We just found out some new features in the upcoming college football video game. NCAA Football 24 is still 10 months away, but it's not too early to start talking about what will be in the new game. I'm going to go through 10 things that have been confirmed will be in EA Sports College Football, and I cannot wait to tell you about all the new information we have. The first big thing we have to look forward to is the transfer portal. This was something that hadn't actually been confirmed until a couple days ago because of how crazy the transfer portal is in real life. Thankfully, according to inside sources, it will be in the game, and we all know how money talks with NIL, so it'll be interesting to see what parts of that EA decides to include in the game. Texas spent over $100,000 on a recruiting visit with Arch Manning, so will we be able to do the same? Can we guarantee a five-star recruit millions of dollars? Unfortunately, we don't know this yet because the intricacies of the in-game transfer portal have not been confirmed, but we do know there will be one. And on top of this, there should be a 12-team college football playoff in the new NCAA football video game. Just a couple weeks ago, the news broke that the college football playoff board of managers were expanding the playoff to 12 teams, with six of those spots going to the six highest-rated conference champions, and the other six spots being at-large bids. According to an inside source, even though the 12-team playoff won't start in real life until 2026, EA is strongly considering adding an option to have it in the new game. This would be great for immersion, because a few years into your dynasty, you'd be able to have control over the customization and have real-life changes in your game. And that leads perfectly into the third thing that I know will in fact be in NCAA Football 24. Everybody's favorite game mode, I just mentioned it, Dynasty Mode. This was obviously always going to make the cut, but according According to an interview I had with Matt Brown about a month ago, Dynasty Mode is going to be very, very detailed, and that's something I'll dive even deeper into later in this video. And I promise you, some of the details EA is focusing on for Dynasty Mode will shock you. Anyway, let me know in the comments what small school you're going to rebuild first in NCAA Football 24, and let's talk about the next thing to expect, and that is that all FBS schools will be in EA Sports College Football. They are all fully expected to be featured, and that includes upcoming FBS schools such as Sam Houston State and Jacksonville State. It's been a while since it was reported, but when news of the game first came out, there were a lot of schools that didn't immediately agree to be in the game. This caused a lot of panic and concern from college football fans because they didn't want to have generic schools in NCAA Football 24, but almost a year later, it's pretty safe to say that this will not be an issue. All FBS schools have been submitting audio and visual clips to EA for months now. They are providing them with everything they need to add them into the game, and on top of this, there could also be FCS schools in the game. When I talked to Matt Brown, he said this about having schools in game, such such as North Dakota State, HBCUs, and other small Division I football programs. Obviously, a lot of FCS programs reached out to EA, reached out to CLC saying, we would love to be in this game. What EA communicated at that point, and I've seen the official documents, you know, through open records requests, was we are not going to include FCS teams at launch, but we're, we, we may potentially be able to work something out with DLC later on. That is very exciting to look forward to. And I'm glad to say that you shouldn't have to worry about if your school will make the cut or not. If you root for an FBS program, they'll be in the game. On top of this, players from all of these teams will also be in the new college football video game, assuming the licensing issues are resolved. If you're confused what I'm talking about, I'll keep it short and sweet. College football doesn't have a player union like the NFL does. When EA wants all of the NFL player rights for Madden, they go straight to the NFLPA and pay for all of the players' rights. EA cannot do that for college football though, because there's no player union, which makes it very difficult difficult to get players rights. Luckily, there is a group emerging called the Brander Group that has partnered with over 60 schools including Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Michigan, and others. I believe this will be the group that comes out on top judging by who they've already brought on, but in the end, it doesn't matter who organizes it, there just needs to be a way to get all the player licensing in one or a few spots for EA to easily compensate the players. According to 247 Sports, player payouts are not expected to be huge. Once this happens, the new college football video game will feature real rosters, and there isn't anybody who is worried this won't happen, so you can fully expect real players in the game. However, 247 Sports says that there won't be face scans, so we'll see how realistic the player model look, I'm sure EA will do a great job. And those are the first five features you can expect to see in the game. But I have some extra information that you all should know before I dive into the other half. In case you were unaware, the game will release around the middle of July. Another thing you need to be aware of is the game will only be on next-gen consoles. There hasn't been any specifics on other devices yet, such as PC, but it's been confirmed the game will be on next-gen consoles, so if you want to make sure you can play it when it releases, you should get one as soon as possible. Lastly, there's no confirmed player that will be the cover athlete yet, but EA can choose from all all the past and present college football players, so let me know in the comments who the cover athletes should be. It's time to get into the other five features that'll be in the new game, and the next one is the commentators. We already have a very good idea of who will be in the game. When I asked Matt Brown about it, he told me this. I can't say exactly who I know is going to be in it without getting 
about blowing up my sources at EA. So you're probably thinking, he literally didn't say a single person. And although you might be right, he did say this right after. What I can tell you is that this game has a contractual uh, partnership with ESPN. I've confirmed a couple of the people that will be in the game. I will say, if you're a college football fan, you'll recognize them. So who would we see all the time that's on ESPN and announces? Well, it's actually quite a long list of different people, but you can only assume which of these few would actually make the cut for the new game. And I'm curious who you all think should be the few announcers EA chooses to use. Now, onto what might be considered even better than Dynasty Mode by some, it's Road to Glory. This was finally confirmed to be in the new game, and it gave the college football community a big relief. For a while, this was actually not able to be confirmed by big names around the community. For example, when I brought on Matt Brown on the channel to talk about the new game, he couldn't give a definite answer, so it's a good thing that we finally know for sure that Road to Glory will be featured. Now, we don't know any of the details about it, if there will be an animated story to go along with it, or if you can transfer your player to Madden, but at least this will be a playable option for the new game. And since we are talking about game modes, I might as well mention the eighth thing that will be featured in the new game. Now, I'm going to let Matt Brown break the new to you all. I can confirm without a doubt is that there will be an ultimate team mode. The specifics of what that look like, I can't say for certain, but that will be a part of the game. I didn't want to say it because I absolutely hate the idea of EA focusing on ultimate team over the other game modes, but maybe they'll be able to focus on both. Assuming real players are in the game, I think ultimate team could be a really cool feature. However, if ultimate team just features players that used to play college football, it's probably going to be an EA money grab that the core of the NCAA community will avoid like a plague. Now, let's get into something more positive that you can expect to be in the new game. Details. I'm not talking about little graphical upgrades to the game that you barely notice. I'm talking about the immersion EA is trying to create in the new game. So you might be wondering, what is all this that EA is adding to make this game so detailed? Well, for starters, they've been asking all schools that'll be in the new game for all of their fight songs, secondary songs, crowd chants, stadium layouts, uniforms, throwback uniforms, helmet stickers, and more. If a song plays on third down at your home team stadium, they want to feature it in the new game. If there's a specific chant that happens going into the fourth quarter or before a kickoff, it'll be an NCAA Football 24. They are paying such close attention to these details because that's what makes the college football game so much better than Madden. Matt Brown even told me that they want to update helmet stickers as the season goes on in your dynasty. The example we talked about was Ohio State. The stickers on the helmet at the beginning of the season, around like week two, will look completely different than the stickers on the helmet by the end of the year, like during the conference championship. They want to add stickers to helmets as the season goes on. That's the level of detail EA wants to put into this new game. Lastly, you can expect the new game to be on the Frostbite engine. This is the same engine that Madden's on, and even though that's probably a pretty big negative to most people, I don't think it's the end of the world. The college football video games have always had their own separate animations and gameplay from Madden, so we can expect them to be different anyway, and we just have to hope the whole game isn't based on animations, but physics instead. Anyway, let me know in the comments which of these 10 features you're most excited for and what you think about the new college football video game.